oh, somebody's not happy. Who's not happy? Don't be settling for less here. It says accepting less than you deserve and settling. This doesn't have to be you collective. It could be somebody that you're dealing with or someone around you. Show me more. Oh, <laughs> gold digger energy. There's a situation here. You may feel like you're not like you won't get over this person or this situation, but you will. OK, or or this is somebody that you were connected to somebody close enough to be in your energy. There is a connection. Someone here decided to be with somebody because of financial gain or materialism. OK, I'm just going to say that somebody here thinks someone is a gold digger or they're they just got with somebody for money. But what what happened was what had happened was collective literally like this, they're not in love with this person. OK, look at this energy here. Um, there's trust issues in the connection. Somebody's questioning their person a lot. OK. Um, I think someone here wants to get over this energy of this victorious energy. So if you're concerned about whether or not somebody's trying to use you or this could be your person, I don't know, flip it and switch it. But the chariot energy is here. You could be a cancer. Show me more here. Yeah, there's some red flags all around this situation. There is red flags all around this here with this caution energy here. You find out more information. I feel like somebody went looking for that information and they found it. So there's some questionable energy that came out. It's like somebody here is going back and forth, back and forth, trying to decide, am I going to leave? Am I going to stay? Am I going to keep dealing with this? Am I going to let this go and release it? Am I going to focus on myself? Because see, there is an energy of being victorious and overcoming an issue here, but I don't, somebody here is getting ready to travel soon here too, or somebody here may have wanted somebody to pay for this third party you could be an aries a leo or a sagittarius or this person is an aries a leo or a sagittarius oh man um a little bit karmic -y here intimacy in someone else so third party somebody here is not to be trusted let me light some palo santos because it's a little karmic -y. so give me one second you guys yeah it's like somebody is is good enough to sleep with travel with hang out with but that's all that they want you know somebody's got somebody else on the side or somebody's still seeing their baby's mother or their baby's father or somebody here could be married or have a family or something okay shit <laughs> i don't i don't know you could be the fire sign and you're the person that's like i need to move on from this situation i feel like somebody's legit trying to move on here let's see more Show me more about this situation and this show me about this third party. Um you could have been dealing with somebody here who has a, a record or somebody who's been to jail. Somebody could be having legal problems here. Whoever this person is, they miss you. Okay, they're thinking about you a lot with this memories energy here somebody's going through their phone they're like replaying conversations they're thinking about all the fun they had with you all the time that you two spent show me show me more of this third party energy secrets yeah definitely secrets okay I, I feel like somebody here is showing themselves self-love and they are in the energy of like really wanting to overcome this situation um, but but somebody here is reckless. They're a gold digger. They're they're settling. Or I, I don't know if you feel like you were settling for this person and they were the gold digger or vice versa. So so just put yourself where this goes, because it's like somebody here. We have reckless love, sex, right? We have caution, red flags. Make sure that you wrap it up with this person and you use protection if you are intimate with them, because they're sleeping with multiple people here. They they have secrets. The secret is that they have they have somebody else. They could be attached to somebody. The third party that they're attached to could be a gold digger. And they this person wanted to hold around and have fun with somebody else too. That could be the case too. Because whoever this person is that was reckless with all these 
issues. It, they're having real massive regrets here. Um, and they're missing you now. So they're stuck in this situation is what it looks like here. Somebody here could have long, long black hair, long, like wavy black hair. Someone here could also wear like these small black frame glasses and somebody could have a beard. Definitely beard energy. Somebody has a salt and pepper beard. Um, also, and somebody wears these frame glasses and a ball head. Show me more about this situation. What's the secret? What's the secret here? Where are these secrets? I told you this person is missing you and thinking about you already. There's somebody here is thinking about something that happened in the past. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Show me this secret here. Somebody's watching you. Stalking you here. Okay. You may have gone on vacation and went somewhere and somebody here is like, if you're posting pictures, this person's like watching you. Or they're like all in your comments. They're paying attention to everything that you're doing. Okay, I just want you to know that. Show me more here. I'm telling you. Whoever this person is, I feel like the sex was good. Okay, there was a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion, but they got somebody else. This third party could also be the person that's watching you or in your business. The other woman looking over your shoulder, competition, someone in, is in the middle trying to sabotage something. So this person could be trying to sabotage something between the two of you. But I feel like you're not even really interested in whatever this person is. This person is in over their head. They're overextended. They're like in this moon energy here. This person is drowning. Show me this drowning energy. Who is this that's drowning? Who is this that's drowning? It could be an Aquarius. Show me who is. This is, has something to do with some past, something from the past. It keeps coming up. Past, past, past. Somebody here is realizing and learning something from the past, something that they, that they did. Now this person feels rejected, left alone. They've been isolating themselves here. This person is isolating themselves and drowning in like massive regret. Very emotional. This person is worried. They're they're worried that it's too late to give you to get another another chance with you. This person has a lot of drama in their life with this chaos. Somebody's going through a tower. And they're heartbroken. This person feels lost. They're they're grieving. Somebody here is going through a breakup. They could be breaking up with a third party. Um, spirit, is this person breaking up with the with the third party? Is this person breaking up with a third party? Yes. Ace of Cups. They want they want you. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. They want you. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, they want you, collective. Huh. Okay, so who do they want this Ace of Cups with? Who do they want this Ace of Cups with, then? Ooh, the Two of Cups just came out. Child, I can't make it up. You could be a water sign. Look at this. This person is gotten themselves and a bunch of stuff that they created you guys uh, that's all i'm gonna say ace of cups two of cups this person wants to reconcile with you Ooh, they love you honey i don't know you could be a leo i just saw the strength card on the bottom of the deck show me more about this person that they want to reconcile and be with how are they feeling about this person they want to reconcile and be with man this person is going like back and forth. They've been holding back what they have to say and what they want to do. They've been trying to hold themselves back. See, this person thought they were going to be able to juggle, right? And now they're not able to juggle anymore. And now they like, it's like, okay, time's out. Two of, two of Pentacles and the Strength card. I got to make a choice. I got to make a choice. But see, this person hasn't, hasn't made a move or made a choice or took any action because they're in their pride and their ego because they feel stupid. How do they feel about the collective? They feel like you've moved on. 
They feel like you've moved on because you don't want to be juggled. And you're standing your ground here. They feel like you have moved on, honey, the wheel to bigger and better things. <laughs> Show me more about how they feel about the collective, please. So they didn't got themselves and they feel like you done moved on. I think I'm just not going to stop beating a dead horse here with this three of wands. Three of wands and the wheel. I feel like, like I said, you've been traveling on vacation. Whatever you're posting online, this person sees it. They're watching from a distance because we have vacation here. Um, Then we had, I forget what other energy I saw that made me feel like you were on vacation or you were traveling or posting something, but sunglass energy. Yeah, watching you, focused on what you're doing. Oof. These are both two cards. The wheel and the three of wands is about, they could be watching you online. They could be watching whatever it is that you're posting. Three of wands is definitely, this is also energy of travel. They are watching you. And they feel like you've moved on to bigger and better things. So what's this person's next move when it comes to my collective? Are they going to make a move? What's this person's next move? Because we know how they feel and what they want. I see if you want them, oh, honey, they want you, the empress. They see you as this divine feminine. You could be a male or female, doesn't matter. You're somebody who's very kind, caring, nurturing. You're, you are in your divine feminine power. Very strong, resilient energy. Um, What move are they going to make towards this empress? Are they going to make a move? What's their next move? What's their next move? The nine of wands. What's their next move? So they want to fight for you, but they feel like you don't trust them and that you're not going to say anything. This person is trying to figure out. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, this person is trying to figure out like what they're going to do and what they're going to say here. How they can get past your guardedness. How they can gain your trust. Show me more here about this person's next move. So I don't... I feel like they're going to be holding back for a little while longer because they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with this hermit and this four of pentacles. Like, that's really not any action. <sighs> Part of them not taking action collective is because, oh, there goes that eight of wands under the deck. I didn't even see that. So they are going to communicate with you. It could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. They're just really in their head about what they're going to say. The reason they haven't said anything yet, Collective, is because they're like, what am I going to say? How am I going to do this? They're planning it very carefully because they know you don't really trust them anymore. They want to bring this Ace of Pentacles towards you, right? They want to be committed to you. Uh, they love you here with this sun energy. You could be a Leo. I'm telling you, there goes that Knight of Cups again. This person really wants you, but it's going to be a while. I feel like... This person is just like wishing they had have given this offer to you. They can't sleep. Yeah, look at this. This person wish they had a work. Yeah, that's what's going on in the past. Okay, let me tell you something here. This person's fear and their pride got in the way. They didn't listen to their intuition. They decided to go be with somebody else when it came to money. And they settled all for materialism and this is them in their head having this massive regret can't get any sleep in this they're just stressed the hell out because they wish that's that past thinking with the six of cups they wish they had to work things out with you and been a team player with you now they're missing out they're realizing they this person was cold-blooded to you i feel like this person was cold-blooded to you there goes that page of swords they're watching you they're watching you. So what other drama? Let's see. What other drama is going on with this person? We might as well look. Oh, look. A closing. Uh, okay. Th listen. They have a love-hate relationship with whoever this person that they're dealing with here. They're in a karmic cycle. Okay, they're learning a karmic lesson here and they're realizing that and now they're ready to close the cycle out. <sighs> Show me more here. They're ready to close the cycle out with this third party. Now they want to come towards you and sweet talk you. I'm going to tell you this. Somebody here, um, for some of y'all, this person might be getting a divorce. And they may want to come towards you. Um, 
This person is having some legal issues too. But anywho, so this person is doing a lot of drinking. They're living a definitely a toxic lifestyle here. Since this person was stabbed in the back, I feel like, but that's what they get. They're getting their karma back for doing this, unfortunately. Um, they may have, somebody here may have had some form of work workplace affair with somebody here too. That energy came out. We got um, workplace affair, stabbed in the back, and then we have sweet talk energy. This person loves the party. That's why they're so interested. They st they're they spending money on trips, hanging out, having a good time, drinking, partying, you know, just did a lot just to live this here lifestyle, okay? From the bottom to the top, my lifestyle. Yeah, look at your lifestyle now, okay? I'm just saying, show me more here for this person. <laughs> uh, Y'all know I had to. You're guarded. Look at this. You're guarded. You closed your heart to this person. And you're like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Break up and guard it. You're not. You don't trust them anymore. You do not trust them anymore. Look at this. Addictions, habits, drinking, toxic lifestyle. Okay. And this person's missing you. They regret this. They're going to have to clean this shit up first. Before they come towards you. And if they have an addiction or a drinking problem and all this toxic lifestyle, somebody definitely has a drinking problem or they, they just hang out too damn much. They spend too much money. This is somebody who goes to the bar and they're like, yeah, around for everybody. I got you. I got everybody's drinks. No, you don't. Save that money. You better save that money. Show me more. Slow down. Rushing will ruin this connection. So this person rushed and got with this third party because of money. Also, too, if you decide when this com person communicates with you, for those of you who want to talk to this person and you decide to speak with them when they try to contact you, you spirit is saying, slow down. Don't rush things. Set healthy boundaries and communicate and ask for the truth. Make sure you get the story. Make sure you, just, you feel like when this person is telling you the story. And then use your discernment. This person is watching you. This person is watching you. Yeah. Toxic, unhealthy relationship patterns. The past is blocking, it causing a block in, in the present. So the past, the past has a lot to do with this person. Like, their toxic behavior. Okay. I feel like it's past decisions. I feel like it's a lot of things. Things that really don't even have anything to do with you, to be quite honest. So, I mean, I, would, I don't, you know what I'm saying? But this person just maybe thought, they didn't think they was going to fall in love with you. You know, they just thought, um, you know, you could be friends first. Um, friends with benefits. <sighs> Child, no. They focused on you a whole bunch though. Look at them. This watching energy done came out a bunch of time a bunch of times. So this person isn't really about to say anything to you right now. I did see the eight of wands. Eventually they will say something. But just like maybe like not right now. Let me see if I can get a time frame for those of you interested. Can we get a time frame here on when this person will attempt to contact the collective? Temperance. Spirit said, be patient. <laughs> All right. Could be 14 days. Okay. Could be 14 days. Temperance is the number 14. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Anywhere in between two weeks, and uh, which is 14 days. Yeah. Reason why I say two weeks is two of swords. So... Love y'all. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. You could really be dealing with anybody. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, um, a water sign here. But you, uh, Taurus was out here. Um, Leo could be dealing with a Leo too. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Subscribe to the channel if anything resonated. Bye.